My JG Aurora A5 3D printer almost caught fire and in this video I'm going to be telling you all about my experience. So a few weeks ago I purchased the JG Aurora A5 from a website called Gearbest and I was really excited it was on sale for $330 and there was free shipping. Part of the reason I had purchased the JG Aurora A5 was because I had gone on YouTube, I'd watched a bunch of review videos on the printer, and a lot of people had really good things to say about it. Um, you know, all the specs on the printer are pretty good. It's got a large build volume, heated bed, um, a bunch of neat features for a 3D printer, especially at that price point. So this was something that really interested me. And when I got the printer, I was super happy, excited, as anyone would be when they get a new printer. And so I unboxed it and I followed the instructions step by step. So the first thing I did was check the power input. Um, so it, it can either be 110 volts for the US or for 220 for basically the rest of the world. Um, and I did make sure I'm, I'm in the US, so I made sure that the power setting was um, set for the US. And so I plugged everything in. Um, I made sure all the connections on the wires were nice and tight and um, powered up the printer and this video clip i'm about to show you is what happened uh, when i went i pressed the home button on the printer and this is what happened so as you can see smoke started to quickly pour out of the printer from the base from both the left and the right side so what i went ahead and did was quickly shut the printer off and unplug it from the wall I was extremely pissed off. I had just waited a few weeks to get the printer. I had gone through the trouble of fully assembling it and right out of the box, this is what was happening. So the first thing I did, of course, was contact both the seller, which was Gearbest, as well as the manufacturer, JG Aurora. And I sent them both an email to, to see uh, what was going on, what they can do to provide support. Um, and what I got back was, in my opinion, poor customer service on, on both parties, right? So the, the manufacturer, JG Aurora, their support was essentially just sending me YouTube videos of some people who had done uh, some videos and tutorials documenting things about the, this printer. So this was something, in my opinion, that was very unprofessional and they weren't doing a good job to um, actually help me one troubleshoot what the issue was and then provide assistance on either replacing the printer, um, replacing components and such. For both Gearbest and JG Aurora, I was videotaping the process of the assembly to post that on YouTube. And so luckily I had caught the experience of the printer smoking on camera. So I sent this video uh, to both the seller and manufacturer and to my surprise, the manufacturer, JG Aurora, their response was, well, can you open up the printer and take a look at the electronics and uh, tell me what's damaged? And for someone with little experience with electronics, and uh, this was something that I'm not comfortable with, I'm not familiar with, um, but, I, but I went ahead and I um, followed the instructions on how to open up the printer. I took a look inside. And as you can see from the photos that I'm gonna display here, um, I did see a bunch of cables um, together that had burn spots, and some of them actually burned all the way through the wire. Again, I still don't know what caused this issue, um, but clearly there was more power being supplied to these wires than they can handle, and they heated up and started smoking. After a bunch of back and forth with JG Aurora, their solution was to essentially send me uh, spare replacement parts that I can swap out for all the damaged components. So it's been three weeks and I still haven't received these parts. And at this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, luckily enough, Gearbest did agree to let me return the printer to them for a full refund. But initially, they had sent back and said that I had to pay for shipping. And shipping on this size box, this weight of a printer is very expensive and I pushed back and I said, this is not a fault of the customer. This should be something that should be handled by the seller. You guys sold a, a faulty product and for good customer support, you should be willing to take this return without any questions asked. 
GearBest did agree to provide me a shipping label and I shipped the printer back to them and they did refund my money uh, back to my account. I'm not saying that the JG Aurora A5 is a, is a bad printer. This is just an experience that I had with it. I know plenty of people who have had fantastic experiences with the printer. And like I said, it does offer a lot of features that are really nice for a 3D printer. I just felt it was good to share my experience, which was a not so good experience. So that when you're looking to purchase this printer, you have another point of view to take into perspective when you're trying to make your decision. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Give the video a thumbs up if, if you got some value from it. And happy 3D printing and have a good day.